Right, so um, on the subject of colour, let's look at how we could actually change the colour of a page. Actually, the simple way into this is to just begin by thinking about creating a shape. So um, I have a shape tool here, currently a rectangle tool, which is about halfway down just next to the frame tool. That's what I'd need to make if I wanted to put another picture in this article, by the way. So rectangle tool, I can draw a rectangle. This is my rectangle. Straight away, it's come out that kind of duck egg color um, because that's what I had picked as my foreground color. And it also has automatically on it a stroke, which is a black line that goes around the outside, which if I'm going to turn this into the color of the page, I don't want. So come over to my properties tab. I can see the fill of the shape. I can also see the stroke and I'm going to turn that stroke off. So now I can simply scale this up. Now please note that I am scaling it all the way up to the very edges of the page, the bleed margin. Um, now I've got a feeling that it might look nice to have the whole page this kind of colour. Maybe both pages, maybe just one page. I haven't figured that out yet. Experimentation is, after all, really key. So there we go. I've got myself um, a um, page that's the right colour. But obviously, the problem is everything is hidden behind it. So I'm actually going to um, need to reorder the items on the page um, and this is a really really useful skill to learn now if i right click on this shape one of the options is to arrange and i'm going to send it to the back and that has thrown it behind everything else so that's what it looks like with the whole page this color now obviously the stand first has become invisible and so as the pull quote because they're the exact same color i could fix that easily enough do i actually like having the whole page this color my gut feeling is i don't like it that much but that's what experimentation is all about i'm starting to think more that like maybe if i had just half of it this color and then i'm gonna need to change the color of the stamp first for now that's for sure so i could try go in for that light brown again have a little look at that see what, how i feel yeah i feel better about that for sure um yeah i'm not sure about it i might change my mind later but for now i feel quite good about that um i do also need to change the color though of this um footer advertising the website because it's at the moment it's this pinkish color which is no good to me whatsoever so i will make that probably the nice dark brown okay yeah okay yeah it's not it's not the most amazing layout ever but i'm feeling pretty happy with it so that's how i would change the color of a page